Hi there, I'm Ben and welcome to my Let's Platinum Bioshock 2 series. If you've watched my Let's Platinum for the first Bioshock, then you know what this guide is going to be like. For those of you that don't know, these videos are a mix between a Let's Play and a full Platinum guide, hence the name. I will be guiding you from no trophies to the Platinum throughout these videos, I'm going to show you everything, collectibles, strategies for boss fights, and tips on when to try and get certain trophies. Think of me as your big daddy along this journey. Sorry, that was a bad analogy and really sounded creepy. Anyway, the footage in the videos has been rehearsed, so you won't see me blindly running around like in a Let's Play. I'll show you the quickest route through the game. This series of videos will be broken down into area, so each video will cover a different area, with a couple of areas potentially being split into two videos as they are quite long. We are getting the Platinum in a single playthrough of the game, so the guide will be 9 to 11 videos long, depending on if I have to split any areas. Before we get started, I want to explain about the missable trophies, as there are quite a few. This game has no backtracking, once you leave an area, that's it. There's no bathysphere in this game. Having said that, this game is a lot more straightforward and easier than the first. The first missable trophy I want to mention is Against All Odds. You need to play this game on hard difficulty. Unfortunately, unlike Bioshock 1, there's no way around this, no difficulty swap glitch. But fortunately, hard on Bioshock 2 is a breeze compared to Bioshock on Survivor. You don't need to play on hard difficulty on your first playthrough if you don't feel comfortable with it, but that will mean that you will need to do a second playthrough. Okay, so here's a wall of text of some of the other missable trophies. This isn't even all of them. There's going to be another wall in a minute. So I'll just quickly run through them all. Big brass balls, finish the game without using a Vita chamber. Um, this is like the first one, but you don't need to do it on any, on any specific difficulty. So if you want to go through the first time on easy, then you can do that and then play through on hard afterwards. But if because we're doing this, we're not playing with any Vita chambers, it does kind of negate some of the others as being missable. Like the next one, Granddaddy defeated three big daddies without dying during the fight. We can't die uh, because when you do, you'll just go back to your last reverted save. So that doesn't matter. That's that's unmissable on this uh on this difficulty with the uh, without using Vita Chambers. Dealt with every little sister. Dealt with every little sister. That's pretty self-explanatory. We're going to be doing that. Master Gatherer. Gather 600 Adam with little sisters. This is a new thing they've brought in now. Um, whenever you uh, kill a big daddy, you, you don't just rescue or um, harvest a little sister. You can adopt them. And then they'll ride, ride around on your shoulders. And you can collect Adam with them from bodies. You can do this twice per little sister. Uh, we'll be doing that with every little sister because we want as much Adam as we want. We're definitely going to get that. Against all odds, finish the game on hardest. We've already done that. Rapture Historian, found 100 audio diaries. Um, there are about 120, 130 audio diaries in the game, so we're going to get that. I'm going to show you where they all are, so don't worry about that one. All plasmids, found or purchased all 11 basic plasmids. So this is just level 1 plasmid. Um... Again, you can buy all these from Gatherer's Garden. We're going to have more than enough um, Adam to do this. There are a couple you can find in-game as well. All weapon upgrades. Found every Power to the People weapon upgrade. Unlike the first one, you can't fully upgrade each weapon. They're just a set of mount, they're just a set amount of Power to the People machines. Um, you just need to find all of those. Obviously, we're going to be doing that. Fully upgrade a Plasmid um, to level 3. So you basically buy uh, level 1, and then you buy level 2, and then you buy level 3. That's towards the end of the game, obviously we'll be getting that. Fully upgraded a weapon, install the third upgrade to a weapon. So again, this is the, the power to the people. Each weapon has three upgrades. Um, you'll want to upgrade your your favourite weapon to level three because the, the buffs are pretty cool. So that's that one. Uh, look at you, hacker. Kill 50 enemies using hack security. On this difficulty, we'll be hacking a lot, pretty much everything, so that's going to come naturally. Hack 30 machines at a distance with the hack tool. Um, hack tool is a new thing. You don't need to stand next to a, a machine to do it. You can just do it from a distance with the hack tool. So we'll be doing that a lot as well. Master protector got through a gather with no damage and no one getting to the little sister. Um, the no damage is you and no one getting to the little sister. Um, obviously, no one in, she'll, she'll get interrupted when somebody grabs her. Um, 
there's a specific place where I'm going to do this. Obviously, I'm going to show you this one. It is pretty easy, you, on, even on hard, the place I show you. There's only about six or seven people there. So that one, don't worry about that one. And now to page two. Uh, max plasmid slots, fully upgrade to the max number of plasmid slots. These again are bought at Gatherer's Garden with Adam. Uh, apart from two, I believe, you get during the story. One's right at the end, so we'll be getting that one along the way. One research track, maxed out, one research track. And then um, that goes along with Research Master. I'll just jump ahead here. Complete all research on every subject in Rapture. Research is a lot better in this one. You have a video camera. You don't need to get film or uh, just keep taking pictures. You just set the video camera off and then you kill the enemy and you'll get a score back, uh, depending on how creative you are, I suppose. So we'll be doing that. It's pretty easy, especially on the lower enemies. The ones that uh, the one that is the most difficult is probably the uh, the big sisters because there are fewer of those than anyone anything else. But again, we'll be getting those, not to worry. So prolific hacker, hacker hacks one of each type of machine. We're going to be hacking everything at least to start with, especially turrets and things and security cameras. So that's going to be a, not a problem. Trap master kill thirty enemies using traps. Uh, this includes uh, trap bolts, trip mines, um, anything of that nature. Um, we'll be doing that a lot as well. Traps are really good for uh, when when you're protecting the little sisters when they're gathering Adam. Um, Saviour saved every little sister and spared Grace, Stanley and Gil. Um, so don't harvest any little sisters, obviously. And then Grace, Stanley and Gil are NPCs you meet during the story and you just have to kind of walk away. Don't kill them. That is very important. <laughs> obviously I'm going to tell you when this comes up. Nine Irony, paid your respects to the founder of Rapture. This is an Easter egg uh, very early on. Um, I will show you how to get this. It is uh, obviously it's um, an Easter egg that calls back to the end of the first game. If you haven't played the first game, I'm not going to spoil it, but when we get to it, obviously it's going to get spoiled there. Counter attack killed an enemy with its own projectile. This is basically you grab a grenade out of the air using telekinesis and just throw it back. Um, you can do that most easily with a, uh, a grenade turret. Um, we can do that along the way, not a problem. And then unbreakable, defend yourself against the big sister without dying. Because we're not using visa chambers, this is actually unmissable. But if you're doing it on easy first hand, then if you do die, you will miss this. And that is it. Okay, so here we are. This is the official start of the game now. This is Adonis Luxury Resorts. Uh, we just watched, or it, you may have noticed in the background, that the uh, the, the initial cutscene was playing out. But uh, I had to play it twice because there was so many unmissable trophies. So the first thing we're going to do here as we start... Man, that looks beautiful. Um, is we're going to pause the menu. I'm going to change some options here. Uh, you're going to need to do the same. You only need to do the last one, but I'm going to change subtitles, uh, in item shimmer, object highlighted. Most importantly, disable Vita Chambers. Do that. Make sure you do that. And do not touch that option again afterwards. So a new thing I'm going to be trying with this video is I'm going to put in the top corner here, you've noticed, uh, the next thing we will be finding. Um, that's going to allow me to kind of not have to narrate as much. Um, so hopefully you don't have to hear me going on and trying to find words where there aren't any. So um, there isn't much to do in this level, in this mission. Uh, it's mainly a tutorial, um, but I'll kind of just stick around for a bit and just jump in when it's important. So this is the introduction to a big sister there. We are actually going to fight her shortly, but we don't have to kill her. So the first audio diary is coming up. It's on the left hand. So when you see the big sister there... You're going to come down here and get it off this plinth here. Um, what you're going to want to do, and you're going to see me do it as well, because we need to in the nature of the game, we're going to need to scrounge a lot um, to get as many items, because we are playing on hard here. So um, I'll show you in a minute. There's going to be some enemies. We need to charge that up in a second. So here we need to just walk, we need to, whenever you, this is why I turned item shimmer on, and this is why you want to do the same, is because you can see that gold shimmer that it's going to help you spot um, all the items um, from afar basically so this is uh, the drill is a new obviously um, what you can notice here is that we are a big daddy we have a drill and it's awesome but I don't use it too much the the later gate the later the guns and that are so much better than the drill 
that it becomes comes kind of obsolete after a while. So this is an audio diary and some items in here. The, the obviously the code is on the window uh, again with a new thing. The codes will get displayed on um, on the side when you're doing a puzzle. Um, if you've if you've noticed them, if you've seen them, like it was on the door there, so it came up in the corner. Again, with what I'm going to do for each of these is I'm going to show the map for anybody who might be using um, timestamps because they will be in the description with regards to items and things like that. Um, next is going to be plasmid number one. It is unmissable, but for the sake of because we need all eleven, I've uh, put them all on there. Maybe I'll start sneaking some brain boost into his daily regimen. So that was the big sister. She's run off with the little sister now. Um, as you're going to notice, first thing you're going to notice if you haven't played Bioshock 2 before, the difference between this and the first one is that your plasmid is always there on your left hand and your weapon is always there on your right hand. And that makes combat so much better in this game. And to be honest, I prefer this game to the first one. I think the stories might potentially be better in the first one, but the gameplay and the the lack of such restrictions with uh, with regards to trophies make this one a lot more fun. So you can see that I can just shock and I can just carry on and it's so much so much better the the back and forth between the plasmids and the the weapons they work so much better together. So saving because we are on hard and we aren't allowed to use use Vita Chambers, save before each encounter. You're going to see me doing it quite often, and I'll leave the little save screen in there like you saw, so you sort of get a when you should sort of save, um, just a, a flash. I'm not always going to mention it, but whenever you see that, think about making a save at that point, because there's something coming up. If it's especially dangerous, I'm going to tell you. Um, but if you die now, if I die now, I will go to the main menu. I will leave this game. It's basically game over. And then you have to reload your last save. So if you don't save for half an hour, you are doing that half an hour again. So it is imperative that you do so. There's nothing else in here. Um, I'm kind of just walking around. I thought there was something down there, but I can't see any shimmers, so I'm leaving it. But we have more audio diaries and um, enemies. Only little enemies. We can't do research there yet, and we aren't actually working towards any trophies yet in this level. There's nothing to do uh, with regards to trophies um, because we don't have the camera, we don't have any trap bolts, we don't have anything yet. So it's basically just pushing through. I mean, you can see this video is, what, 10 minutes left. Um, there's a, there is a boss fight at the end, but um, apart from that, there's nothing to do. We might get, I think you get the one trophy, the, um, the story one at the end, and that is going to be it. To advance the common good, through social psychiatry. This city's potential is immeasurable, Eleanor. Yet our beliefs are unwelcome here. Life will be difficult, but the price of revolution is always dear. If we are patient with her, rapture will come to us. Taste of Adam in weeks. I don't need that. This is Dr. Sophia La with a message for the people. I am back in rapture after so many years. The little ones I rescued are grown up. Don't think of me no more. 
think of me, what I wanted not to do that. It was a joy was to be forgotten. To the but now, all around the world, children vanish by the sea, kidnapped. And so I return. Coming up to our second weapon now, and potentially my favourite in the game actually, uh, is the, the rivet gun. This is awesome, <laughs> and especially if you go for headshots. Headshots are a thing in this game, they do considerably more damage as you can see. Almost kills them in one, and we are on hard at this point, and this gun isn't even upgraded yet. Granted they were just basic splicers, but these are what rivets look like, obviously you, you're going to see them, they're labelled. Um, this gun, once you upgrade it, when you fire rivets, do have a quite a high chance of setting enemies on fire. So it's just a really good round, all round gun, and you get the trap rivets for it. We change the ammo, you drop those on the floor later on. This is going to be one of the trophies we're going to do. Uh, that's not in this mission, we're getting right towards the end now. Um, yeah, so make the get used to this gun because it is really good. If you're wondering how I, I did just do the, the zoom in, you click R3 and you, you zoom in. You can do this with most weapons, all of them I believe. Uh, but it does take your plasmid away at that point. You can't use your plasmid. This I do terribly wrong. <laughs> uh, yeah, so with the plasmid gun combo it's, it's so much better. Especially when you're going to fight bigger enemies which you're going to see in a moment. We are coming up to the, uh, the big big sister fight. Now this fight doesn't go well because you're seriously under leveled. You've only just kind of woken up, <laughs> whatever it was, um, at the beginning there. So make a save here. I can't stress that enough. We're going to go through here and the big sister is going to appear. Um, you can shock her and then fire at the river gun. Uh, I get stuck. She traps me against the wall. You're going to see that in a minute and it really hurts me. Um, don't worry too much. You'll... S You'll see me once I finish this fight, I'll have no health left and I'll have no healing um, first aid kits or anything. Don't worry about that, we can recover from that quite easily, there's a lot in this room. So she stood in water there, you can see even if you do zap her, it doesn't really do much. It increases your damage a bit when you hit her with the, uh, the bolt gun, but she moves so fast and she's all over the place. These, these are probably the toughest enemies in the game. Luckily they are quite far, uh, you don't you see, there she's pinning me against the wall, I cannot get out of here. <laughs> um, there aren't many of them in the game, they appear every time you rescue three little sisters, so every three little sisters you, you rescue one will appear, so she's, a, she's got what a quarter of her life has gone there and she's going to run off, that's the fight done, she doesn't come back, we're going to leave at this point. Um, every three little sisters a a big sister is going to appear. So once you put them back in their, their portal, their, their little um, hidey hole, whatever it is, um, every three, one, you'll hear the screaming noise of a big sister and she will come no matter where you are. She will come and chase you down. But I'm going to show you a few tactics on how to deal with them. You can sort of manipulate when they appear, obviously by putting the list, little sister in the, uh, the hole at a certain point. And we're going to be using uh, big daddies to fight most of them actually. Big daddies and turrets. It does make it easier, but they are still fairly challenging. Um, but you, you will notice I didn't get a trophy there for dealing with a, a big sister without dying. That's because we didn't kill her, so we don't get that one here. We actually have to actually kill one. You are forced to kill quite a few in the, the game because you have to save quite a few little sisters. So, yeah. Um, at this point now, this mission is pretty much done. I do know, I do see that there's what four minutes left, three or four minutes left. Um, it's basically um, we're moving on to the next area now. So once you go through, once you jump down in a minute, where are we? We're just going to come down here. We're going to jump down into a, a, a room. Once you've done that, this is this area done. You cannot return. So if you want to go back for any items and just scrounge. Uh, to help you with health. You can see my health is low as my uh, plasmid is as well, my Eve. If you want to go back and think you've missed anything, do it now because once we jump down, that is this mission done. We will never come back here. That's all the audio diaries and everything. There is one more coming up. Um, it's sort of in between the next mission, the next level. Uh, but now I cannot go back. That's it. 
So if you needed to go back, make sure you do so. Um, and that's it for this this mission. Basically, I'm gonna take my leave and just sort of shut up in a minute and let it play on. But we're just moving on to the next area. Um, just one more diary. It's off to the left here in the submarine. Um, at the end of the, the the mission, like usual, I'm going to bring us into the next mission. You're going to see it load up. And then I will show you the audio diaries we should have collected so you know what you should have by the point um, of that mission. And that will be it. See, here, it's actually in the inventory. Right. I will take... Yes, I will get out of here and shut up now. So, thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Oh, I love you. It was you who saved us, Sammy. It was you, Button. I... What was that? What's that sound? She's seen us. It's Lamb. Torpedo! Ah, I'll try to... Ah! <laughs> Delta. You arrive as the little one said you would. Come upstairs to the ticket booth, and I will offer what I know of you. <laughs> 